What if you could build your own app to automate your daily routines by just describing what you need? That's exactly what we're doing in this Google Opal tutorial, building a complete AI app. If you're tired of repetitive tasks, you'll want to stick around because I'll show you how to automate them in minutes. So what exactly is Opal? It's Google Labs AI Workflow Builder. Think of it as your software genie. You describe what you need in plain English, and Opal builds the complete app for you. No coding skills required, and it's completely free. Now we'll start by building a simple app, so you can see exactly how it works. Then, as a bonus, I'll show you a complex workflow I built that uses Google VO to generate videos automatically. We'll start our tutorial on the Opal website. Here, you can see some apps I already created, but if it's your first time here, you'll just see this gallery, which contains apps created by the Opal team. We can click on one app to use it, see how it was built, and even make a copy to our workplace to use as a template. But let's get back to the main page, because we want to create an app from scratch. Here, we'll click the button Create New. This brings us to the Editor page. This page has two important areas. The first is the Objects bar on the top, and the second is the prompt box on the button. Here on the prompt box is where the magic begins. For our first app, we'll automate the creation of blog posts. We're going to tell Opal exactly what we want our app to do. I'll paste in a prompt I wrote earlier. I want an app that takes a topic and generates an informative, well-structured blog post along with a banner image. After I hit enter, you can see Opal get to work. As you can see, my instruction was quite generic. I just said what I wanted, but I haven't provided any technical specifications or how to do the process. It's because Opal, different from other AI tools, is capable of understanding my goals and translates them into a workflow. Okay, the app is done, and it took less than one minute to create it. I'm impressed. You can see on the workflow, it separates the tasks in nodes. It has a node for research then, another to write the post outline one for the postscript, and one to generate the banner image. First, let's execute the app, and while it processes, we'll look at each node and see how it works. On the right panel, we can see the app preview. Here, you can change the name and description of the app. We'll click on Start, and our app is running. You can see the Input Topic page. On the workflow, you can also see an animation on the first node, showing it's running. We'll paste the request. Generate an article explaining whether the U.S. stock market is currently in a bubble, including key indicators, recent trends, and the factors driving market valuations. Okay, it's processing, and now we'll see what each node does. The first node is the Get Topic. Once we click on the node, we can see on the right panel the node details. This one is a simple input node, so it just has a message text that you can alter here. The connected lines connect the nodes and indicate the direction and dependencies of the workflow. You can easily create or modify it by clicking on the lines or on the right dot on each node and dragging a line to another workflow. The next node is the Do Research. You can see it's a more complex workflow. It receives the topic information and uses the model Gemini 2.5 Flash to plan and execute using this prompt created by Opal. The prompt is an area where you can easily alter and to try to improve your app performance. For now, we'll leave as it is and we'll check the next node write outline. This one receives the research result, has a prompt to guide the model, and uses Gemini 2.5 Flash. If you click on the model, you open the Model Selection tab, and as you can see, Opal is deeply integrated into Google ecosystem. And from here, we can select chat models, as well as the latest Google image, video, and music generators. At the end of this tutorial, I'll show you an advanced app I created with Opal that generates short video clips with voiceovers and music. Next in line, we have the two nodes that receive as input the outline, the generate banner that uses the nano banana model to create the banner image, and the write post node that actually writes the post text. Those two nodes are connected to the last node, display blog, which is a simple output node and serves to define how we want our information displayed. If you click here, you can see the output types supported. For this tutorial, we'll use the auto layout, but its ability to generate the output into Google Docs, Sheets, or Slides opens many possibilities. 
By the way, if you're finding this tutorial useful, hitting that subscribe button and liking the video really helps support the channel and ensures you don't miss out on future videos. So back to the preview tab, our app already finished the blog post. Let's look at what it produced. We have a complete, well-structured blog post with multiple sections, and right at the top, a custom-generated banner image that fits the topic. The whole process, from prompt to finished product, can happen in just minutes, though the exact time can vary depending on how complex your app is. But here's the best part. This app isn't just for you. With one click on the share button, Opal generates a public link. You can send this link to anyone, and they can use the AI app you just built using their own Google account. No servers, no hosting, no complicated deployment. You just built and published a shareable web app. This is what makes Opal so powerful for rapid prototyping. You can go from a simple idea to a shareable product in minutes. Now, I'll show you an example of a complex app capable of generating a full short video using Google VEO for the videos, voiceovers using Audio LM, and the soundtrack using Lyria 2. This is a short video creator app. This workflow was generated using a complex prompt, but Opal managed to generate it in one go. I'll show you what the workflow does, but before, I have to inform you. By the time I recorded this video, Opal was in experimental mode, and it had a very limited free quota to generate videos. So for now, this kind of complex workflow would hit that limit, but it helps to illustrate what you'll be able to generate with Opal in the near future. So back to the start, First, we have the two input nodes, one for the topic and other to add any information we want to provide about the topic. Then it uses Google capacities to perform a deep research on the topic. With the research result, we have the nodes to generate the video information, metadata, video title, video keywords, and description. We also use the research result and topic to generate the prompts to create the video, speech, and the soundtrack. Those are the nodes that actually generate the media, we're using Google VEO for the video, Google Audio LM for the speech, and Lyria 2 for the soundtrack. Of course, we couldn't forget to generate the thumbnail for the video too, using Google Image 4. As you can see, this tool has some massive potential. Google Opal is one of the most exciting no-code tools I've seen in a while. It lowers the barrier for creating AI-powered tools, turning anyone with an idea into a builder. While it's still an experimental project from Google Labs, it's perfect for creating custom content generators, automating research, or just bringing a unique idea to life. Now that it's available in over 160 countries, the possibilities are truly endless. If you found this tutorial helpful and want to see more breakdowns of game-changing AI tools, hitting that like button really helps the channel reach more people. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. So, what are you going to build? Let me know your ideas down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.